Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I am going to share a super cool pop-up card with you today. We made this in my WOW class in August, and it is um, a little bit of effort, but the result is amazing. So I will pre-warn you that this video may be a little long just because this has got a lot of steps to it. But here is the front of my card with the belly band. This is a case from Pinterest and I don't remember who. It may very well be the Creativity Cave, but I'm not sure. So this is the front. Pull the belly band off and it's going to have an explosion on the inside. And then it's going to keep going with these two layers as well. So a super, super fun card to do. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get rolling here. I used the stitched all around dies and stamp as well as the tropical chic dies and stamps as well. Now a lot of my stamping was pre-done ahead of time and I used a combo of black Sahara Sand and Granny Apple Green and then the 6x6 six six Tropical Chic Designer Series paper as well. So we are going to take, let's go ahead and do our scoring. So we need two pieces of Sahara Sand which is seven by three and a half and we're going to score those in half. So let's just do those right now. We'll score everything then I can get this big thing out of the way. So I'm gonna score this at three and a half on both of these, long side at the top. All right, those two are out of the way. And then I also have a piece of basic black, which is 10 by five. This is my card base. I'm gonna score that exactly in half at five inches as well. And then I've got a piece of Sahara sand Sorry, I have to reach. I don't have a whole lot of room on my table. Um, Sahara Sand is going to be seven by three and a half. So I'm gonna score half, three and a half this way. And then I'm gonna turn it and do three and a half. So I've just kind of made four exact squares. And then I'm going to do, I've got the wrong, the wrong tool here. Let me switch mine out. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have this one specially marked so that I can do diagonal scoring. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do a corner to corner. So is that correct? Yeah, it kind of, they don't kind of look three and a half. Okay, so I just, what I did was just draw a Sharpie line. It's, it can be on any of these. This was a project I was doing before and I needed an exact diagonal. So I just did a Sharpie line down across there. And then all I have to do is just put my corner in right there. It's at the four inch mark. And then I've just, can you see it? Um, bring my other corner down to meet the Sharpie line. Now this one will have to stick out over the top, which is fine. No big deal. And so I'm just going to do a diagonal, just one diagonal is all that I need. So let's get these guys out of here. <clears throat> so I had a little more room to play. So now I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to, to fold this and just make sure I'm burnishing everything so that it goes together very, very well. So once you start doing that, those nice crisp folds, everything seems to go, just kind of fall into place, which is great. So I'm gonna do those. Then I got my card base here, so we'll go ahead and crisp that one up. And then I've got these two, so we'll do those. Oh, one more score I need to do. Let's pull that back in just so I can get that out of the way. And that is my belly band, which is a piece of granny apple green. And we are scoring that one at, this is 11 by one. I'm gonna score two and three quarters and three. And then I'm also gonna do eight and eight and one quarter. Oops. 
All right, sorry about that. I'm a little disjointed this morning trying to get everything ready because this is just so many moving parts here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of stamping. I'm gonna pull in two pieces of white cardstock. This one I already did ahead of time. And I'm gonna use some of the stamps from both of those sets I mentioned, the stitched all around. So I'm gonna stamp this in basic black. Do that across the top here and down both sides. And then I'm going to pull in some granny apple green and do the little, um, I don't know what they're called, seeds, I guess. Little seeds on there. And that's just for a little pop of color. All right, so these two now can get attached to the inside of my card. And with a card like this, with a lot of with some moving parts you can you know use your use your snail you could use the green tombow glue that would work great sticky strip would work great uh, I just am not real sparing on my adhesive because I want it to stay together so it needs a little extra especially you're gonna see when we do the pop-up piece it needs a little extra little extra strength to hold it together so there's our card base then we're going to go ahead and use this piece and mount our designer series paper on. So what I did, this was for my class. These are all the little parts. So I went ahead and had them already pre-cut and ready to go. So here's our designer series paper. I may have to, well, let me take a step back. Let's go ahead and show you how to fold this piece. So what I did is I have this folded down. That's our diagonal piece. So it's it's like this, okay, the fold is at the top. Then I opened it and I folded the other two in. Okay, so now that is actually what is going to allow your pop-up piece to work. So what you're going to do, these two diagonals are going to come in, I'll go real slow here and do that. Kind of reminds me of like those cootie catchers we used to make, right? going to tell you who you were going to marry and how many kids you're going to have. Yeah. All right. So again, nice crisp creases on that. And then that's how that one's going to open. So now what we're going to do is attach our other two pieces to these squares right here. And I want to do them now because I don't want to forget uh, and put designer series paper on here. Trust me. I know to do this now because I had some issues when I was making my first one. So I'm going to do some adhesive. Mono or snail is just fine right across here. And I'm going to attach my square. And I want to go, so oh, I've got crazy shadows today. It's very, very dark here in Pennsylvania. We've got some serious rain coming in. So I want to go fairly close to those scores that I made without going on top of them because I need this to still close, okay? So if it does not, if it's too close in here, you'll know that this piece will not close and then we have we have a little bit of an issue. So um, it also looks like I've got a little extra sticking out here. You could cut that off if that bothers you, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's gonna be, this is what's going to attach inside your card, so not a big concern. All right, let's go ahead and put this other one on before I forget and start attaching designer series paper. And this one's going to open this way. So I wanna go real close to those seams, but not overlapping them so that my little cootie catcher still closes. So when you're said and done, you should still be able to do this with your card and it will pop open and then these pop open. All right, so now we'll go ahead and attach our designer series paper. And I might have to look at mine to see what I have done before. This tropical chic, I tend to went tended to go with the black and the green, but there's color. So if you like color, definitely put your color in. Uh, one thing that we do need to do is take these two pieces, and I totally forgot about it. 
um, two of your pieces need to be cut in half. So do you think I can do this straight? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so you're going to go corner to corner on those. So normally I would use a trimmer, but you know what? I'm on camera and I ain't stopping and you guys have already watched plenty. So let's just keep rolling along here. So I'm going to do mine just like I did my first one. Uh, snail adhesive works just fine on this guy. It seems to hold perfectly, so I didn't go pull in any extra adhesive. Like I said, if you like Tombow multi-purpose, use that. That's a great adhesive as well. <clears throat> All right, so now these guys are gonna go on this piece that folds here in the center. I know I said this is going to be a little bit of a long video as you watch this. I, I can try and see if I know how to uh, do the fast forward thing. I have yet to learn that. So I'm still kind of a newbie when it comes to make... Oh, shoot. Let's put some adhesive on there. You did not get any glue. I'm still a little bit of a newbie, so I'm still figuring things out along the way. So I appreciate you guys who watch me and leave comments. Oh, one thing I can say while I'm doing this is last week, Movie Monday was the lantern card. And I told you guys if you commented uh, that I would do a drawing for, and I gave two away. So our winners from last week's Movie Monday are Judy Showers and Tracy Land. So congratulations, ladies. You've got a gorgeous lantern card coming your way. All right, where are we here? Yep, okay, so this guy goes in here. And then these, oops. I didn't do too bad just by uh, eyeballing there and cutting. Kind of impressed with myself. Alrighty. Okay, so there is our pop-up. So that's going to go inside our card. Now, I am going to spare you a lot of detail work. So what this one has, I took the sunshine and I stamped that in black and punched that out with a one and a half inch circle. This is a die cut that was done out of the stitched around and then I die cut out some black leaves and just attach those. Then the same thing I did here, I did die cutting around there stamped you could do anything inside here it, it is just kind of free choice just have it go crazy and make this an over-the-top card but i really wanted to show you the logistics of it so while i have this i'm going to go ahead and put my front on so i have some dsp here again from i think i'm going to use that side from the tropical sheet six by six pack and I did use a lot of adhesive on the front because I wanted to make sure that it really stays stuck. Um, what happens is there's a lot of pressure inside here and especially this piece. This is embossed with our new embossing folder. This is in the holiday catalog. I forget the name of it. It's something swirls and twirls or something like that a gorgeous gorgeous embossing folder and look what it does just so so cool so I really want to make sure I'm using a lot of adhesive on here so that it doesn't pop off pop off sticky strip would be perfect for that so I'm going to layer this right on here All right, so now these are again all the pieces and parts here and I'm not gonna show you how I did it because all it is is just layering. I just layered 
pieces and parts on top of each other to create also this gorgeous little, um, they were calling it a, a corsage in class. So you're gonna layer that all together. I use dimensionals and then the whole thing is attached to the belly band just with dimensionals. So don't put it onto your card anyplace else. Attach that piece right onto the belly band and then you can slide this on and off of your card. So let's, let's talk about how to get this part in your card. So what I did was take three pieces of sticky strip because I want some serious adhesive. I do not want this coming off. So I've got three strips across here. on both sides, so front and back. Now, the one thing to be cautious about is that now that I have my card assembled, that I've got a front here, I wanna make sure that I'm putting it in correctly. So I don't want it to pop open and be upside down. That would not be good. But actually, now that I say that, I'm probably okay because I haven't decorated the inside. So there really is no top and bottom to this just, just yet. So what I did was I peeled off just one side of the sticky strip. I love, um, so I keep saying sticky strip, that's showing my age. This is Taran tape. Um, so gosh, I keep saying um too, I need to stop that. Okay, take a breath. All right, so this is gonna come in here and the point where this is going to open is going to go right in here to the seam. I wanna make sure that my triangles here in the side are inside the card, and I may have a very tiny little point that sticks out of the bottom, and that's okay. But the main concern is that I have this in, so this will still close. So I don't wanna to be too close to the seam or else it's going to off, off shift this whenever I close. So what I did was I just kept it there, have it exactly where I need it, and then I just close the front of my card. Little pressure on there, and you can see that it's going to pop open whenever you open your card. So now I'm gonna flip that over, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the back side. So peel these guys off. Just come on now, work with me here. I've lost all my fingernails. Okay, so keeping that down, I'm just gonna close my back of my card and it's going to now be a gorgeous pop-up. So now you're ready to just do your decoration. So I wanna show you one quick little, little secret here and that is with my strip. So that's the one that is going to say, with much love. Now the stamp itself, says with much love and thanks. And I don't want that, I just want the love. So what I did was I took a little strip of washi tape and I laid it right across the and. Stuck that right to my stamp. I'm gonna ink it up. So I'm just gonna be real careful and I'm just inking right at the edge there. So I've got with love, I'm gonna peel that off and now I'm going to stamp. So now I have just that section. So here's another little trick which I absolutely love. To do my little banner, I'm going to use the tailored tag punch. So I'm just gonna slide this right in using that top notch. I'll punch that and it made a perfect little banner. Um, then I will come and I'll take my little pretty glimmer dots and stick that on there. And I'm just going to do a lot of pieces and parts. And then, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to really quickly do this belly band. Secret to the belly band is you do not want to have it be really tight. So all I did, let me just straighten that off a little bit. I just have a small strip of sticky strip there. And I'm gonna pull this around. So I want the seam in the front and it's just going to barely touch. 
and I want this loose enough. I don't want that real, real tight or else it won't slide on and off. I just want them to come together with a little bit of play in there so that it will slide on and off but not fall off. So now I have a belly band that I can slide on and off my card. So again, you can take you can take this and you can do the embellishments, you can do whatever you choose, but there is the gist of your card, your pop-up card, and then this little belly band will just slide on. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Thank you for being patient with this longer video and listening to my ums. Today is a bad day for that, apparently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give one of these away. And I'm going to send all the embellishment pieces with you so you'll be able to put it together and make a gorgeous card on your own. So leave me a comment, whether you're seeing this on YouTube or my Facebook page or my blog. Just leave a comment. Um, let's see. I don't know what day today is, but, but this always airs on Monday. This is Movie Monday. So by Friday which I feel like might be September 14th. So I will pick a winner then and announce it. So have a wonderful week, you guys, and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.